So part of the reason I joined Air Force ROTC is, uh, you know, both my parents were in the Air Force. My dad served for 25. My mom was in for four. Uh, my middle sister, so she's my older sister as well, uh, is also currently enlisted. She's been in for four years. Um, so it's kind of just like a culture within our family. Um, you know, we have my grandfather was in the military. My other grandfather was a police officer. My other grandfather was a fireman. So kind of that service was always kind of in our family. Uh, and it's just something I grew up with. And it's something that, you know, I really... Uh, you know, appreciate and it's definitely, you know, the Air Force is definitely something that um, is part of my life and I'd like to continue that. Uh, as far as obligations go with Air Force ROTC, uh, I have a three hour class every Monday night from six to nine. And then I have a two hour class on Wednesdays from 430 to 630. And then just other obligations outside of that, which could include, you know, PT once a week in the morning at five o'clock. And then also just other weekend obligations for other mandatory um, training events that we do with other detachments around the area. Um, so it's all in all, probably we do probably about about like seven to eight hours of work um, outside of hockey and school itself on with the ROTC program. So it's not too difficult. Luckily, the classes are at night. Uh, Wednesdays are in the afternoon, so I just don't take a Wednesday class. Luckily, they're only once a week, so it's not something I have to worry about um, uh, doing multiple times a week. Um, as far as with practice and stuff like that, I do leave practice early Wednesday, but I'm there for, you know, the first 40 minutes of a 55 to an hour long practice. So I don't really miss much practice wise. Um, we work out in the morning, so I don't miss any of the lifts or anything like that. Uh, it's really just sometimes on the weekends I have to get permission slips basically to miss mandatory events for ROTC for games, uh, which they're pretty lenient with as long as you have a, uh, like a viable reason, you know, games and stuff like that are. Uh, excused absences, but usually just have to make up that uh, that training block or the things you would have been taught during that uh, at a separate time. Uh, so just trying to find the way to make up those extra hours and stuff like that can be kind of difficult sometimes. Uh, the guys are really supportive of it, and everyone's you know they you know they make they uh, crack jokes and stuff, but it's all in like good fun. It's just you know not making fun of the military. Just you know when I wear the uniform and stuff, they get all excited. Uh, so it's kind of fun just to you know show up on Wednesdays and you know everyone's going to say something. Uh, but it's really just kind of time management, you know, making sure you know when your schedules are, what you have due, when things are due, and just, you know, making sure you make the time to get everything you need done so that you can be successful in all three things. Uh, so when I graduate in May, um, I'll go to uh, what they call a tech school out in Vandenberg Air Force Base out in California. Uh, I'm going to be a nuclear missile operations officer. So I'll be out in the, after my four months of training out there, I'll end up uh, in the Midwest, either uh, Montana, Wyoming, or North Dakota, one of those three bases.